By the way, you guys, a, a little life lesson. Having your academic life together does not mean you have your life together. <laughs> holy crap, holy crap, it's today moving day, it's today moving day. Oh, it's moving day, I forgot, crap. My room's so messy, so many Pokemon dolls, I gotta clean all those up. Damn, I have clothes all over the floor, ah. My dad's gonna be so pissed. Anyway, so we're moving out in like a day or two to my new apartment, so a lot of this video is just gonna be packing random shit and moving to different locations to pack more shit. So I guess interspersed in this vlog is gonna be a rant. And now I don't normally rant because my thoughts are normally like jumbled as fuck and I'm not like the most eloquent speaker. So when these two things come together, it's just a bunch, of, no one knows what the hell I'm talking about. But I think, by the way, I think I need a haircut. But also when I started this channel, a big part of it was just to walk you guys through the journey of an accelerated medical student, right? So from a pre-med and undergrad student to med school to the time I became a doctor, you guys will be able to see the progression of the journey. And I think so far I've done a decent job of keeping up with that, right? So at no point in time do I want you guys to get the impression that I'm like complaining about the position that I'm in because I would say that being here is probably one of the most fortunate things that could have ever happened to me and I wouldn't have it any other way. Anyways, recently, like a lot of Asian moms and just people in general that I see when I'm like out and about have been like, oh, Josh, you're starting medical school in like a week or two. And they're like, how do you feel? Uh, and I tell them I'm excited, but really I don't feel anything because I'm the type of guy that doesn't think about like things that are happening in the future until like suddenly it's right in front of you, right? Like like some people like wait their entire lives to go to college and when, when it was my turn, it was like the day before college, I'm like, oh shit, I'm going to college tomorrow. I mean, it's just the type of guy I am, right? But suddenly one day I was like sitting at my dirty desk and I was thinking about cleaning it because I have to move soon, right? And I was like, holy shit, wait, I'm moving. Holy shit, I'm moving because of med school. like. Med school's actually start like an entire season one of my life feels like it's spanned from like middle school all the way to college where I'm like one guy is coming to an end and I feels like I'm starting season two but it doesn't feel like I'm a different person than season one. I still feel like a little kid. I still in my head feel like the exact same person as I was in like high school. I know some people they're like oh I feel and from high school to college like I felt like I was a new person. It was a different totally different person. I'm, no, I'm the, I'm the same person. I just feel like a big kid right now. And then so suddenly when that realization dawned on me, like it opened up a whole another bucket of worms, a whole like boatload of anxiety. And I was just like, shit, man, what the? Anyways, we talked about the new season thing about how, and how I feel really young still. And obviously I'm worried about like the academic side of things and everything, like I would be crazy not to be. But what I'm more worried about is like the social as aspect of things, especially because I'm so young. And I know that like Guy Sensei loves talking about youth, like Onward with the power of youth! But like youth has its upsides and downsides, right? Like before I started doing research, I thought I knew everything and then I did it. And it's when you learn more, that's when you realize that you actually don't know anything. The more you learn, the more you realize you don't know, right? So those people coming in with like four years of college, a, a master's degree, or a, a first career that they came in from, or a gap year, two gap years spent doing research, they're not only gonna be a lot smarter, but they're gonna be a lot wiser because they just have a lot more life experience behind, under their belts. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that academics can get you, can open doors but life experience a lot of times is what gets you through those doors, right? And so a lot of times I'm pretty anxious about how I'm gonna like socialize, how I'm gonna fit in with a lot of people. And then that makes me wonder, like, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty introverted at heart, it makes me think like, oh, 
in, in, in medical, when medical school starts, do I want to like make a lot of friends? Do I want to socialize with a lot of people, build a lot more connections? Or do I want to just be like some hermit who stays in my rooms and studies all the time? Because I, I enjoy that sometimes, right? And when I get stressed about that, like it, it just becomes like an echo chamber in my mind. I don't know what to do. Like I become anxious about it. And then it ends up just by default, I do nothing because I'm anxious about it. And then I miss out on social opportunities. So that sort of thing kind of like, I don't know. And another product of just being really young is I feel like I'm worrying about a totally different set of things than other students are, right? Like they're coming into med school thinking about like, oh, how can I best succeed for med school? And I'm coming in like thinking about, like, wow, like I, how do I make it look like I don't dress like a high schooler still or like, like they're thinking about student loans and because I'm still quite young, I don't necessarily have the strongest concept of money. Like I know $50,000 is a lot of money. I'm like $50,000, but in my head, like it's just a big number. Like it's still very difficult to grasp the severity, the, the weight of what it means to go to medical school compared to what some other people might feel. In some sense, it just feels like like the next step in my education and it is, but it, it's also a little bit more important than just like, oh, like you're going to school. Like you, you have, you're starting to have a couple more responsibilities. All right guys, so it's a new day and those two rants I had from last light night, they were a little bit extreme. They were late night alone in my thoughts, Josh, not morning time, logical, rational, happy Josh. So of course, when we come back to that, obviously I feel some of those things, but like now when I think about it, I'm just gonna take it one day at a time. It's not as bad as I've made it out to be. And also, I'm sure that a lot of people would rather trade that extra experience they have for time or vice versa, right? So everyone is always looking at things other people have and thinking that it's better than what they have. But at the end of the day, we're just gonna all figure out these things together. And it's, it's really not as bad as it seems. So now before we move today, there's still a little bit on the agenda. I have to do a little bit of summer reading homework. And then I have to look for scrubs and stethoscope online. I don't know what's good. If you guys know what's good, you can leave some recommendations. Then I have to look into some health insurance stuff. I hate doing all this bureaucratic stuff. I like it when you just get to live your routine and not worry about all the paperwork and all that crap. So we finally made it to the new apartment and I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. Oh crap. Okay, we have this little dead space here, but here we have the kitchen. See the kitchen? Stainless steel, not too bad, microwave. And then here we have the living room. We're still moving in most of the stuff. So the living room is pretty empty. Actually, it's completely empty. There's no furniture. Over here we have my bathroom. Toilet. Sink, a little shower, bath mat. Cool stuff, cool stuff. And then we have my bedroom. And I'm I'm planning on hopefully pimping it out a little bit more, but that's gonna be there, a little plant. Yeah, a little, kind of a homely place, so that's the goal. Now, to summarize my rant yesterday, which even though I tried scripting it out somewhat, it still didn't exactly come out 100% the way I wanted it to. It's just that even, I feel that even if I have my academic life together, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm all that put together outside of school, right? I feel like there's still a lot of stuff that I don't know, a lot of stuff I'm clueless about. I can barely even tie a tie. And, and sometimes I worry that like a little bit less experience on this other side of things is just gonna seep into the academic side of things. One of my biggest fears is it's, gonna, it's not gonna be my ability to learn well that holds me back. It's gonna be more of the life-related stuff, right? But, <clears throat> And I swear, I'm a confident guy. I'm not like a whole, total mess. It's just, it's, it's just I'm not necessarily 100% put together. <clears throat> what you're seeing are some of my like deepest fears that come out mostly at night, but during the daytime things are okay. 
Now I'm gonna end this with a little bit of a piece of advice that I like to follow. Traditionally I follow it, but recently I haven't been doing the best job, and it's just that, uh, it's just do what you want, plan for the future, but don't think too much about the future. And it just means that uh, you should take things one day at a time, but be ready for anything that might come your way, right? But don't think too much about, don't stress too much about what hasn't even happened yet. And I think recently, because med school was like a pretty big thing to happen in my life, I've been thinking a lot about it. But when I really think about it, it's best to just take things one day at a time and to really enjoy, and to really enjoy each day before break and each day of med school without stressing too much. I fucking hate moving. I hate change. So much work. Oh, and I'm really excited to start this entire medical school journey with you guys. I'm gonna try to keep you guys as updated as I can, but of course it's probably gonna be pretty busy, so I can't make any guarantees. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.